Hey, Air Signs. Welcome to Queen Airbender and the Tarot. Today, we're going to do your general weekly energy reading for mid-April. Keep in mind, these are general readings, so they can't possibly apply to every single person watching. But if you would like a personal reading, the link will always be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. For all of the new viewers, I'm an intuitive tarot card reader. Um, I read all the cards traditionally, but more than anything, I'm going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively, okay? I always charge both of my decks with crystal organite pucks. And doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for your reading today. Um, also, I have place cards for every single um, sign. So you all will get your own individual little mini read, okay? So for Gemini, you will get one card, one clarifier, and so will Libra, and so will Aquarius, okay? And again, this is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone rising Venus individuals. I hope everyone is doing well. Just really quick, I want to thank you all so much for helping the channel grow. Um, you guys have been leaving amazing and very beautiful comments, and I'm so grateful for that, and I thank you so much. And I just want to tell you, you know, I'm, I'm humbled by that, so thank you. And I ask that you can, um, you know, continue to do so. Now, I am reading this for 12 different signs, so I'm going to try to leave timestamps, but I might not be able to because I'm going to try to do multiple readings today, right? So we'll see, you know, if I'm able to leave it. But if not, feel free to leave it in the comments. I would appreciate it. So currently, there are absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks so if i get any reversals when i do the shuffling i'm gonna accept them because i know they're aligned with the message that i meant to give you guys today so when i was meditating over your reading this i heard two songs you guys are the first people who get two songs but of course air signs which is all over the place i'm a fellow air sign also um the first song was I'll Do Anything, I'm Sorry by Genuine. And the second song is Four Page Letter by Aaliyah. I'm going to leave the link to both songs in the description box below so you can click it and listen to it following your reading because I know it's going to be aligned with the energy for you guys today. I'm going to tell you the message that I picked up just initially. Somebody is really, really, really working themselves up to reconnect with you. Somebody definitely owes you guys an apology. A lot of y'all, somebody owes you an apology. Whether you want to accept it or not, that's up to you, but... Somebody owes you guys an apology. They know they owe you an apology. And they are really, really, really remorseful. Like, they, they're they regretting it. It's some action. And because I, I even felt it as soon as I picked up the song. I'm like, oh, my God. Some, somebody really messed up really bad. Okay. So, that's what I picked up. Um, And this in your main deck, there will be no reversals. Right? The way that I'm going to shuffle it, there's going to be no reversals at all. But then in your clarifying deck, there will be reversals. But keep in mind, there are 78 cards in this whole deck. Right? So, if you get reversals, that's why I said I'm going to keep them. Okay? So we're going to hold the cards down and just randomly part them so that we can get underlying energies. Yep. What did I say? Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo Sag Aries, someone rising Venus individual because this was the very first underlining energy for their reading. I literally just finished their reading. You guys seen how I just parted the cards randomly. Somebody owes you a major apology. They really, they really messed up with you guys. Okay. Um, let's see. Another energy, right? Okay. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone, and yeah, some of you guys, you guys really want to look at this fire sign reading because they're getting, you guys are getting the same energies. This didn't pop up in theirs, but it was a very strong earth sign um, placement energy. So you, some of you guys could have been dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone rising Venus individual, but you can also have these placements. Either way it goes, there was some type of heartbreak, and it could have been definitely connected to a. Um, earth sign or fire sign and i'm going to tell you also with the four of pentacles upright this is about somebody who's holding on for dear life to either a way of thinking a way of living just somebody who's overall being selfish and not ready to relinquish hold of certain aspects be it money be it love be it feelings and emotions and i'm gonna tell you for a lot of you guys these some you guys were dealing with somebody who was holding back their emotions they were keeping how they truly felt for you a secret right and I, and I picked that up. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, and I'm picking that up now because, like I said, I heard the song Four Page Letter by Aaliyah. And in that song, she was, like, really describing how she felt about this person, like, just spilling all her emotions out. With that Four of Pentacles that we just seen, somebody is definitely holding back their feelings for you. And I feel like they're going to get ready to spill it out. And I feel like you may be getting up a text, right? You may be getting a text that's just, like, it's going to take you so, like, oh, my God. I, you wouldn't have expected this person to send you this message, okay? You had one pop out for Gemini. Mm, I like it. You have the two of cups. This person loves you. Okay. What was this? Is it? Two? No, it's more than one, but I'm going to take the top. You got the tower for Libra. Okay. Too many flipped out. One flipped on the floor. I'm not going to take it. I don't want to 
touch any energy that's connected with that. We only take the cards that flip out. Okay, there we go. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune for Aquarius. So Gemini, your main energy is the Two of Cups. Libra, you have the Tower. And um, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So let's part the deck randomly, get underlying energies for you guys. Nine of Cups, we like it. You know, like I said, somebody wants wish fulfillment. Somebody knows that they really messed up. And but I feel like in the separation, because for a lot of you guys, you're dealing with separation right now. I can feel that very strongly. There's going to be a reconnection for a lot of you all. Mm -hmm. You got soul connections. You have, you know, the, the will turning in your favor. And even with this tower for Libra, I don't feel like it's a bad thing. I feel like this was a shakeup for this individual. I feel like losing you was a shakeup for them. And, but they're realizing that you were their nine of cups, right? As we part the deck so that we can shuffle. Yeah, absolutely. And then I tell you guys earlier on, you have the ace of wands, right? I told you guys, you might want to go look at that fire sign reading because the energies are very connected. Some of you guys have a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus coming in with a major offer and a major offer of emotions. This person is really going to express their emotions. Also, if you're not dealing with someone who has strong fire sign placements, this is just somebody who's very passionate about you getting ready to come in. But I told you guys earlier, you guys have a lot of the cards that the fire signs had in their reading. A lot. Look. <laughs> As I parted so that I can shuffle you have the king of wands. A lot of you guys have a fire sign coming in for you. And I'm going to tell you now that look at how he's facing this nine of cups in reverse, right? He's facing, um, I'm just looking at this energy because it's like, <laughs> yeah. Um, cause what I'm hearing is this person was foolish and that's why this card, this is why it's in reverse. And this is why now he's facing himself, him or him or herself. They're facing himself now. Because this, especially if you're dealing with somebody who has strong fire sign placements, they're facing themselves now. And as I said, that the time was 7-11, so that's confirmation for me. Some of you guys want to look up angel number 7-11, because it's going to be relevant to this message that I'm giving you. You guys are dealing with an end of, mm-hmm, yep, look at that. Because now you have the king of wands in reverse, and then you have the judgment card in reverse. And the judgment card it, upright is about raising something from the dead, reconciliation, bringing something back to life. Um, and you see how, again, you have this fire sign energy, this king of wands facing this judgment card, this person has to face themselves, and I feel like they, they're going to, or they have already. And now they they face themselves, they face their behavior towards you, and now they need to face you, okay? So look, most definitely what I say, because now at the bottom of the deck, you have a judgment card up, right? So let's get one clarifier for Gemini, Summer Rising Venus individual. Look at that. I can't make this up. The Eight of Wands upright. And again, there are reversals in this particular deck. This is fire sign energy also, Leo Sag Aries. You guys could possibly have a Leo Sag Aries, someone rising Venus individual coming in with some fast moving communication. Okay. For Libra, you have the King of Pentacles in reverse. And for Aquarius, someone rising Venus individuals. Let's get one clarifier for you guys have a lot flipping up. You have a four of swords in reverse. Okay. So look at that. And look what popped up at the bottom of the deck. We're flipped over, and that's the eight of swords. And this is you guys' energy, right? And you're coming out of reverse, and it's in reverse. So you guys are coming out of your head, coming out of, um, you know, this mental fogginess. Because if you look in the background, look at that sky in the background is gray. That's a fogginess, a heavy energy. You guys are coming out of that heaviness, and that's a positive thing, okay? So far, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals, your general energy is the Two of Cups, and your possible outcome, your clarifier, is the Eight of Wands. A lot of you guys have someone who is a fire sign or strong fire sign energy. Again, Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individual. This person is coming in very quickly with some communication. This person realizes that you are their life partner, or they want, or they see you as their life partner. Most definitely see you as their life partner. Because if you look at this card, they're I always say with this one, their crown shock, not the crown shock, I'm sorry, their third eye chakra is connected. It's almost like you and this person have this telepathic connection. So I want to tell you also with me saying that if this person doesn't, you know, text you or call you immediately because something somebody's going to reach out to you. I can tell you that right now. You may start having dreams about this person or you may feel like this person is trying to tap into connecting with you you know you can feel like you're having conversations with this person in a dream state 5d however that resonates with you but this person is trying to connect with you you know on multiple levels i can tell you that right now 
So for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individual, you guys got somebody who who's coming in who feels like you are their soulmate, and they're gonna communicate with you. They and I feel like they're gonna apologize to you because I feel like for a lot of you, a, a apology is needed. And I don't feel like this is a new connection. I don't feel like that at all. Okay. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. You guys have the tower card and then clarifying it is the king of pentacles in reverse. Now, I'm going to tell you, like I said earlier, some of you guys can strong, be dealing with someone with very strong earth sign placements towards Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I feel like with this tower card directly next to this king of pentacles, if you don't have strong earth sign placements, you're dealing with an earth sign who, you know, they, they were very reckless with your heart, most definitely. And I'm going to tell you that because I'm going to turn this card upside down, right? You see how he's holding this pentacle? Now, even though this is a king, he or she, you would know how this applies to your situation. Sex and gender doesn't matter. Um, you see how he's holding this pentacle? I'm, uh, the way I'm seeing this intuitively is like this person is holding your heart and they and they did things in a messy way. And that's why they're in reverse. And you see how this one person is only one person. And the clarifying deck is two people falling out of the tower. And this particular deck is only one person falling out because this person with the strong earth sign placement, they were just messy, completely messy with your heart. And I feel like you kicked them to the curb, okay? But I'm going to tell you right now, I'm picking up an energy that this person recognizes what they did. And I don't feel like they, I, I don't feel like they want to be in conflict with you. I don't, I don't feel like this person wants to be in conflict with you. I'm like I said, going back to the songs, I'm even picking up already that they're very regretful for their actions towards you. And there's going to be communication coming in most definitely. Your general energy for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals is the Wheel of Fortune with the Four of Swords in reverse. Now I'm going to turn this upright. The Four of Swords upright is about someone who's retreating, and this is your energy, Aquarius. You took a time. You took a break, right? This is about somebody took they took a break, somebody who retreated from a situation that caused heartbreak. Because you, you see at the beginning of the reading, we have Three of Swords. You got one, two, three swords right over this heart chakra. And this broke you down pretty bad. I feel like for you guys, this was very heavy, but it's in reverse now. A lot of you guys could have a family with this individual because I want you to see right here, you have like a Pope or whatever this is. Like, you know, this is like a church glass window, but then you have a woman in there, a child right here. So a lot of you guys could have a child with this individual that we're talking about right now. It's coming up in reverse and right next to the Wheel of Fortune, I'm telling you, I feel like this person who you dealt with this heartbreak with is coming back towards you and you guys are going to have a new cycle. I don't feel like this person is out. I don't feel like you wanted this person out, but something that they did broke your heart to the point where you had to cut ties with them. And I, I feel like that's very strong for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individuals. But I feel like you guys are getting ready to have a new cycle. You know, this person is realizing, for a lot of you guys, you have a family, you have children with this individual. Because I'm hearing specifically that, um, I'm hearing this person say, like, I want my family back. Because I'm telling you, I, I immediately zoomed into this picture. And it's like a child here and it's a parent, male, female. A, looks like a mother. Doesn't matter whatever the gender is doesn't matter it looks like you may have a family with this individual and then like i said with this upright this is somebody who took a retreat somebody who took time to step back and to reevaluate the situation it's in reverse because i feel like you want to reconcile with this person too right and i feel like this person is coming towards you especially with the will of fortune this is major arcana all of you all of the cards are major arcana except for gemini's but it's like even with the two of cups this looks like a very powerful this is a very powerful card it doesn't look like it is a very powerful card major icon or not but for Libra, Libra and Aquarius Sun Moon Rising Venus individuals you guys have some major transformations yeah Libra the person that you're dealing with this person has had a major epiphany it took for you guys to be separated for this person to realize how much they miss you for Aquarius you took a step back Aquarius Sun Moon Rising Venus individual you took a step back and you had to really go within and reflect and decide what it was that you wanted in a relationship and um Something new is happening in this situation. And then for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, you guys should be expecting some communication coming through, particularly with someone who has strong fire sign placements, okay? So as always, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and individuals, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.